If you have an exotic animal, it's important to be responsible. Consider this, in the Cayman Islands, released invasive green iguanas are competing with the native blue iguanas for resources in their native territory, and it's hard to tell the difference between them. But let me give you six quick tips to look for. Let's start with the spines, the cheeks, and the tail. The green iguana has long, straggly spines. The blue iguana has short, even spines. The cheek of the green iguana has a large cheek scale. It looks like a cucumber slice. The blue iguana does not have a cheek scale, but it has little spines on its cheek. On the tail, the green iguana has large, very noticeable black bands. These are not present on the blue iguana. The next three things to consider are the feet, the dewlap, and the eyes. The green iguana has yellow eyes. The blue iguana has red eyes. Next, the feet. The green iguana has yellow or green feet. The blue iguana has black feet. This is a signature characteristic for all cyclora or rock iguana. Finally, let's look at the dewlap. On the green iguana, the edge of the dewlap is covered in spines. On the blue iguana, there are no spines. The dewlap is completely smooth. With these six things, you can correctly identify a green iguana from a blue. Again, look at the crest, tail, and the cheek. Next, look at the dewlap, the eyes, and the feet, and you've got yourself a correct identification. Why is this important? Blue iguanas are an endemic species to Grand Cayman. On the other hand, green iguanas are an invasive species and are causing havoc in places like Grand Cayman, South Florida, and many other Caribbean countries. So next time you see a big iguana, take a very close look. I'm Jessica Harvey for the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation.